What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Evolution XROM and how is it working. This is the 19th March 2020 build of the Evolution XROM and if you notice the security patch, the security patch is of latest March 5th 2020 and here is the version, the 4.1.69 March Madness official build and the stock kernel here is the immensity kernel. Let me go back and show you some more stuff like in the system panel. We have the system updater of course, it looks like this whenever you check for updates. By the way, I am decrypted over here and I flash this ROM with the Orange Fox recovery and to flash it, I am on the latest MIUI 11.0.4 firmware. If you don't wipe your firmware, you don't need to flash it. But if you are not on the latest firmware, I will suggest you to flash the MIUI 11.0.4 firmware. Then flash the ROM file with the FCRIP disabler and reboot if your storage is decrypted. Now the stock camera over here is the ANX camera and one problem that I have faced with this ANX camera with the earlier build I guess like the 18th March build or something uh, with this 19th March update I think they fixed the yellowish kind of thing. The front camera pictures were just showing yellowish on the 18th March build. Right now that's not the case and as you can see the front camera LED and stuff does work. But I disabled the sound of it of course in the like system panel you will find this front camera effects and from here I disabled the sounds but otherwise if you want to use these sounds these are totally fine and here in the gestures we have the system navigation gestures and with this you can hide the pill and use the full real estate of the screen too if you want to do that. Now the customization panel says the evolver over here so if you go over here you can see the themes and stuff you can change the accent colors to whatever you want as you can see there are multiple options to choose from for this accent colors and we also have this headline and body fonts and as you can see plethora of options we get here also now we have the icon shape and there are plenty of icon shapes too over here like rounded rectangle and stuff and we have the status bar icon then rounded filled circular icon we have here and in the quick selling themes we have the header image you can choose whatever image you need there is an option to like pick image from collection or pick image from storage I don't know why they are disabled maybe I have to change this one okay so if you change the image type to static and then you can like pick a image from your storage you just have to change it to static and you can do that now over here we have the quick setting header color you can change the color if you would like to I think as you can see on the top part the color is red right now so you can change the quick setting header color from here you can like choose whatever color or you can even choose the opacity I guess of this color looks pretty cool I would say now over here we have the new tint style then the default colors and the blur kind of thing like if you pull down the quick selling panel you will see on the bottom part there is kind of this blur over here looks pretty cool kind of gives a halo effect on the bottom if you're noticing so yeah looks quite cool let me go back to the status bar we have the clock option and then we have the clock like left or you can choose it to center if you'd like then you can enable the date option and clock font color on the status bar you can change the font color even for the clock so that's really cool we have the date and date position date style etc let me go back to the network traffic you can enable it if you now want to use that then we have rounded corners you can change the framework values if you need like the corner padding and stuff if you want to change them and here we have the status bar icon and from here you can enable the headset bluetooth that's right icon and you can even disable this cross when data disabled if you want to like this as you can see the like cross on the cellular network just gone and it's back right now so pretty cool like small little things over here and then we have status bar logo battery style for the battery style you can change it to big circle and stuff as you can see if you need those and you can change the battery percentage to next to the icon and stuff of course and the battery percentage when charging is there quality icon and stuff is there in the notification panel we have the heads up disabling option then this pulse option is there you can like set the pulse duration but it does not pulse like all the time it just pulses for like this many seconds like this is only one pulse which will go for six seconds slowly and stuff so that's how it is and you can change the edge lighting color or the pulse kind of color from here however you want then we have the kill app button then the ambient or always on display brightness blink for call waiting and stuff is there in the quick settings panel we have the vibrate on toggle touch then column and row number customizations are there then the settings icon and stuff normal things are there in the power menu we have the advanced reboot if you need that yes the advanced reboot do work super fine no need to worry about it 
and then we have the gestures here we get bunch of things like AOSP gestures and stuff then the swipe click screenshot and as you can see we have the screenshot gesture this is the oxygenous kind of gesture and we also have the other screenshots which i'll show you later on the brightness control from the status bar is working super fine no issues with that screen of power button torch status bar and lock screen double tap to sleep is there and in the lock screen itself we have the like pressed icon color you can choose it to these many colors this is just the lighting effect of the like Figment scanner and for the recognizing animation you can change it to these many animations as you can see there are like plethora of options for these animations and talking about the Figment scanner yes the Figment scanner is working well on the latest build I would say the Figment scanner is not that fast as it used to but yeah it works like decently and on the lock screen itself we have one more thing which is this charging animation well this is a little charging animation which happens like on top of the Figment scanner I guess like on the lock screen itself so it shows a flash kind of over here like in most ROMs but you can choose it to this battery drop or explosion or water I'll show you over here like how does they look and I would say they look like quite fine and this is really good that you can like customize this nifty little things on this ROM. And here we have the status bar and stuff like owner info etc for the lock screen and then we have the icon customizer of course over here you can choose whatever icons you need from here. There are a plethora of options for the figment scanner icons. Now let me go back we have the pocket detection and stuff if you need those. Now in the navigation panel we have the system navigation again then we have the like enabling control invert layout if you are using the two or three button navigation. And then we have the animation you can change the screen of animation to CRT or scale then we have the quick setting animation stuff like the tile animation and the whole UI animation is here in the mist settings we have the wake up on charge disabling option then the charging animation is of course there then we have the screenshot type well here you can take a full screenshot like let me show you this is just a normal screenshot like it you cannot like scroll with this and this drag selection on the area screenshot is not really working because I see it is taking just a normal screenshot but if you like select this take full screenshot with extended screenshot as you can see now you can scroll through the screenshots and this is like pretty cool you can stop whenever you want as you can see it took a longer kind of screenshot and in the USB configuration we have the file transfer option so if you choose this one option and whenever you connect to your PC the like file manager will open on the PC of your phone so that's really cool and like nothing much interesting over here in the evolver but I would say the customizations panels are like pretty insane in this ROM Evolution X has been really good in the past for the customizations we have the like live wallpapers by default if you need those as you can see the living universe kind of like thing by default is still there it is kind of loading because of my Wi-Fi and let me go back and of course as you just saw the NX camera is there by default and we also have the vlog mode and stuff over here so you don't need to worry about anything like this vlog mode and stuff everything works all the lenses over here are working fine and including 960 ps slow-mo and stuff everything is working I've also installed Gcam 7 if you don't have the Gcam 7 you can check the card right here and install the latest Gcam 7 this is working totally fine with this like Google camera and like night set and stuff with the Google camera does work fine. Google Pay works right out of the box, no need to worry about it. And the other banking apps too on this ROM should be working. And here is the Android score of this ROM. Now let me quickly go to the battery settings and this is how the battery settings looks like. And I would say you can check the full usage from here. And talking about the battery life, I have got enough or like really good battery life. You can see the screenshots from here. And I would say you can like it can definitely last you a full working day without any issues. The battery life is really good on this ROM. And yes, talking about fast charging, this ROM does support the 18 watt fast charging. Now in the display settings, we get some normal things like the dark theme and stuff. This is working totally fine. And the lock screen display is still there. The always on kind of thing is still there. And the always on display does work. But I have seen like sometimes whenever you're pulling the phone out of your pocket, if you touch the fingerprint scanner, the screen just like locks for a moment. And if you double tap, then only it wakes up and then you can like tap the film scanner and it will unlock this is kind of a weird bug i'm sorry for the like background noises and stuff i cannot really help it 
because people roaming around the road i don't really know why and here we have the live display and like rgb control of the screen is still there and the hue saturation intensity and contrast you can adjust from here and again styles and wallpapers is there now double tap to wake is there and this anti flicker or dc dimming mode is there and that too works fine in the sound settings we have the audio direct and this me audio direct works totally fine i have been using it with the uh, like hi-fi audio direct the sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well on this rom is fairly fairly good no issues that i could find another good thing over here is that the drm info shows as level one over here if you're noticing yep the drm info shows as level one if you have the indian redmi k20 pro and you can stream amazon prime or netflix videos to like 1080p and that's not a problem now let's open all the apps from memory twitter play store youtube instagram spotify and let's switch the apps and i would say as you can see the switching between apps and stuff and the memory management as well is fairly good in this rom and no apps are getting closed or removed from the memory all the apps do stay in memory so that's not a problem over here the ram management is really good even though this is a 6 gb ram variant of the redmi k20 pro so that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.